Yo YouTube, this is your boy Tronic. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a poster. A um okay, uh I don't know if I should call it a poster or a flyer that you would use to uh sell any type of product, show, uh concert that you might be doing, but I'm going to give you an example that I did uh for my brother for a uh show he was going to be doing. Um but this is a picture of me of what I'm going to be using today. But uh, I'm going to give you a, a quick look of three choices that I made for my brother. I made this choice. This is a flyer that I made for a uh, club that he's going to be going to. Uh, and as you can see, I put a background of the club here. And I wrote his name on the back of this girl. And uh, here's another one. It just has a black background. And then here's another one. This is a, uh, a um, inside of a limo, I believe. And now I'm going to be showing you how you can make something like that. First off, I want you to open up uh, Adobe. Adobe, uh, what is it called? Adobe Fireworks CS3. And I'm just going to move this up a quick second. All right. Now... What you need to do is, you need to open up a file, and the sizes that you need is 500 and by 800, 28 pixels for resolution. Wait, 28 pixels. You can either do 28 pixels or you can do 72. I'm going to do 72, and then I'm going to make the background white. Now I'm going to press OK, and here you go. This pops up. Um, now what you want to do from here is... Uh, you want to get a a shape from the side. You can get any of these shapes, preferably the rounded rectangle or this regular rectangle. Now, what I did for the one I did for my brother, I used a rounded rectangle, and I went from the bottom here and I stretched it across, and then picked the move tool, and then I moved it down a little bit so it blocks the bottom. And then what I did was I used this right here. And then it made this at the bottom here, this name nameplate. Uh, you can do that if you want to, or you can use any of these other choices. There's a lot of different choices here. And also what you can do is click this little white area right here, and you go down here to Canvas, and then you go to Black. Now you have a black background, and you have this down here. And I'm just going to choose one that's more fitting. Uh, I think I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to move it down a little bit more so it looks a little bit better. Okay, and now what I did was I made a square strip going across the top. I made a regular square strip. And I moved, clicked on the Move tool, and I went over here and I chose this gradient right here. And it makes a gradient for the top. Now you get the name tool and you can put the DJs or the producers of the movie that you have. For instance, I'm going to put my name up here for DJ Tronic. All right. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move this text right here and then I'm going to change the size of the text and make it bigger. All right, and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click these things and make it into a different uh, color. Instead of using this font thing right here, you can use that, but I like to use these better because these look better. And I like this one, but it goes off of the square a little bit, so I'm going to make the size a little bit smaller. Now everything is perfect. All right, now what you need to do is you need to go onto your uh, internet browser and you need to search for a, uh, you need to search for um, any type of picture. Like, I'm going to put on here DJs. And then I'm going to go to images. This is, you know, you can have your own pictures if you want to. If you're somebody starting off new, you might want to get one of these. For right now, uh, I'm going to get this little DJ dog right here. This is for uh, learning purposes only. I am not using this, calling it my own product. Do not think that way. All right, I'm going to save it now. I'm going to save it to DJ Tronic. And then I'm going to go to I'm going to go to posters and then DJ. Save the picture there. 
and I can close out of that and now I can drag that picture right on to uh, fireworks or Photoshop whichever one you're using and I can put this in the background and then I press control T or you can go over here to the scale tool but I'm gonna press control T wait I'm gonna press control T and now I'm gonna click and hold shift and move down slide it down move it up a little bit make sure it's covering both the top and the bottom right here and then I'm gonna move it down to the bottom see now it's gonna be behind everything and now I'm gonna click the magic tool over here and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna click the white areas and I'm going to delete the white areas okay and now I'm going now I'm going to move it to where I would want it at on here okay and now I can move the contrast down I mean the the uh, transparency down a little bit if I want to and to get that little white background that you see there off I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to blur I'm gonna blur it a little bit now it makes it feel a little bit more smooth over there and now if you want you can uh, click on them and add some more effects to them to liven them up make them look a little bit better from over here at styles and you can click on all of these different ones I'm gonna use that one right there and then I'm gonna come over here and now you can type whatever you want uh, click on the, uh, the letter tool and you can put over here uh, don't miss the show and then I'm make it a little bit smaller don't miss the show okay and now I can add performances performances by DJ Tronic okay and now I can put different types of uh, styles on here and also if you uh, want you can go down and you have the letter types of different changes it's just I like the top ones better because they look better to me at least but if, if that's what you want you can use the other ones I'm gonna come down here and try and find right there perfect and I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger performances by DJ Tronic don't miss the show and now like you seen on my brother's one that I did for him actually not, you know I said I was gonna be using my own picture uh, you know what I like this one that's in the background by itself right now so I'm gonna be using that one uh, I'm gonna control T this and make it a little bit smaller I feel like it's taking up too much room see now you do this and now you basically have a poster right there but I don't have any dates on here so the next thing you need to do is you need to click and put on here you can put uh January 30 wait now uh, January 26 that sounds better than me January 26 and then you can put on here the entrance fees right here I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller actually probably a lot smaller I'm gonna put on here uh, thirty dollars thirty dollar entry I'm gonna change the color of that make it look a, a little bit more attractive and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put ladies free you know they do that a lot to make you know to make people want to come to the clubs a lot women can come in for free men gotta pay whatever <laughs> now what I did in my last one uh, if I can show y'all real quick I tilted the letters for my brother and y'all can do that too I'm gonna show you how to tilt them but there's not enough there's no point in me tilting this one where I am at right now uh, because this this uh whatever this thing is over here is too big so I'm gonna show you, you just click it press control T or the scale thing and you come outside of the box over here you see that there's this uh, rotate tool over there you click and now you can rotate 
and it's like that. And now you can I press the wrong thing. Control Z. Uh, now you just gotta do it again. Don't move this little center thing that's there. Just tilt it. Move it down by pressing the box itself. Move it down. Then just double click outside of it. And now I can click on this one. And then I can tilt this one again. Over there. Double click outside. Move it like that. And now I got an attractive flyer that you can use for any type of show that you want to use. You just go over here, press file, save as it's always best to use this fireworks png but you can use any of these other settings uh any other any other setting that you might want to use would be jpeg gif or bmp uh, or the uh fireworks png those are the best ones you want to use don't use anything else so uh i'm going to go ahead and save it right now i'm going to save it as uh let's see tut vid flyer one and now I'm going to go in here and separate them by underscores. Underscores. And now you have a nice flyer for something that you can use. Now you can use what I just taught you and come up with your own setup. Or you can use your own uh, picture. You know what I'm saying? You can use anything you want. And now I'm going to show you what the picture looks like after it's been saved. And it is right here. And that looks pretty cool, right? You can go ahead and pass them out to your friends and everything. Go to the store and let's see. This is the original from where it came from. That's the original. Or you can use this, what I taught you how to use. Thanks for watching. This has been an episode of DJ Tronic. I'm going to be trying to come out with a few tutorials on how to do things on a computer, make beats and all that. Keep watching my vids. Sure you'll love them. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks very much.